Welcome to Touch Technology Review. Today I'm going to be taking a look at the brand new color match feature that was released in the 2018 version of Premiere Pro CC just recently. This new feature takes advantage of the Sensei Artificial Intelligence Engine and it really does make the process of matching footage color much simpler and much faster than doing it manually as we have done in the past. So I'm gonna take a look at how to do so using footage from this video. I've got a Canon 5D Mark III in front of me shooting this main opening scene. And for demonstration, I've got a Panasonic 4K video camcorder on the left, and I'm going to attempt to color match the footage from the two of these cameras. Now, as you can imagine, these two cameras are going to have a completely different color profile and that's why I've used them. So I'm going to bring them into Premiere as raw footage and I'm gonna use this brand new feature to do the color grade and see how well it matches. So let's go ahead and take a look at the brand new color match feature in Premiere Pro CC 2018. Obviously it probably goes without saying, but the first thing we need to do before we can get started is to bring our footage into the project. To do so, all I need to do is to go to the file menu at the top and select import and go and select the two video clips that I've just brought in from the SD cards. Once they're in Premiere, they'll appear in the project window and then you can drag them across into your main timeline. I've put the video clip from the 5D on the left hand side and then the video clip from the Panasonic 4K video camera just to the right of it. Now if I scroll on the timeline, you can see how the color grade is very, very different. But not only that, you'll see that the levels, the highlights, the contrast, everything is very, very different. So to see these clips side by side, I'm going to go into the comparison view mode and Adobe have rolled out a new icon that makes this very easy to access. It's in the control panel where your playhead is for the video window and it's right next to the export frame icon that's always been there. So as you can see, comparison view, I'll click on that and now we get a side by side comparison. However, what you're seeing right now is a comparison of the same clip. In order to see the two different clips, we use this scroller in the reference window to find the point that we wanna match on the footage of the Canon 5D, for example. And then we go to the scrubber in the timeline and move that along to the footage of the Panasonic 4K. And we'll try and get a comparable shot so that we can match this better. So now that we have them both side by side, we can clearly see that the Panasonic has a tungsten kind of tint about it, even though it was shot on auto white balance. The skin tones are very yellow, as opposed to the Canon, which has a much more natural skin tone to slightly red tone. So what I'm going to do for this particular demonstration is match the Panasonic against the Canon. So I'm going to use my Canon as my reference point, and I'm going to try and match the Panasonic as close as I can to the Canon. So before I even begin that process, I'm going to use the Lumetri Color Basic Correction Tools in order to make the clip levels much more similar to the Canon. And I think it's very important to do this before you go into the color correction because it's gonna help you see the match much more clearly. So I'm gonna adjust the exposure, the contrast, highlights, shadows, increase the whites a little bit and reduce those blacks. And now in terms of brightness and contrast and overall exposure, we have a much closer match, but still, as you can see, the color cast is completely wrong. So this is where we're going to use this brand new color match feature to see how well Adobe's AI Sensei engine can perform that match for us. So to do so, we click on the color wheels and match area just below the basic correction. It used to be called just color wheels. It's now color wheels and match. 
And now we can see our shadows, highlights, and midtones color circles, which in the past we would have had to adjust manually. But there's a new feature now, apply match, which allows Adobe to do its magic for you. And there's also an option for it to perform a face detection. And in this particular example, because it's a portrait, a video portrait, I'm definitely gonna take advantage of that option where it will match the skin tones on my face as much as possible. So I'm going to leave that selected. And all I need to do now is simply click the apply match button. It's analyzing and you can see what a great job it's done of matching that Panasonic to the Canon footage. It's much, much closer in color range and color tone. It's slightly more golden, a little bit less red than Canon. So if I was wanting to take care of that, I could probably apply a secondary color match and try and even it out further. But certainly as an automatic correction, it's done most of the work for me. And so you can see one more time just how much work it's done. I'm going to turn the Lumetri color off the Panasonic. There's the original showing that yellow golden cast over the skin. And now the automatic color match, it's evened it out significantly. It's very, very close to the Canon footage. Once again, it hasn't done a 100% perfect job of color match. That's probably gonna require a little bit of manual tweaking if you wanna do so, but I would have to say it's certainly good enough for a quick edit. And if you have the patience, you can go on and make some further adjustments. Now keep in mind, I have deliberately tried to match two very contrasting camera sources, the 5D Mark III with its full frame sensor and the Panasonic prosumer camcorder with this very small image sensor, which is known for producing a very unnatural skin tone as opposed to the Canon. So the fact that it's been able to get so close in this test really is a testament to how well this particular feature works. And I think with a little bit of tweaking, even the perfectionist could go a long way in getting a perfect color grade using this brand new feature as the basis. Now, I know most of you aren't going to be matching footage from such diverse sources. Quite often you've got two of the same bodies or similar bodies, and you might've shot them at slightly different white balances, or they have a slightly different color profile. For example, I've got the 5D Mark III on the left and the 5D Mark II on the right that I've imported. And the 5D Mark III tends to have more saturation and a little bit more gold and red tones to it. And it's much more contrasty than the 5D Mark II. So there is certainly a difference in the color tone and you can clearly see it in this comparison side by side view. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to use the new color match feature to see how well Adobe matches the two clips. And I imagine it's going to be even closer than the previous example because they're much more similar in terms of the type of cameras that they are. And once again, as per the previous example, I'm just gonna change the basic correction first, a little bit more contrast, a little bit more exposure, and probably just reduce those blacks a little bit. That's much closer already. Now I'll go back into the color wheels and match setting. I'll leave face detection on, again, because it's a video portrait, I wanna match the skin tones on the face and hands as much as possible. And I'm now going to select apply match. There you go, it's taken about three seconds and it's done a great job. It's a much closer match to the original. I probably have dropped the blacks a little bit too much in the basic correction. So I'm going to bring in a little bit more of the shadows and that's a very, very close match yet again. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video informative. If you did and wish to get this new feature, all you need to do is to upgrade to the latest version of Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2018, which can be done for free if you have an Adobe Creative Cloud membership. Now don't forget to hit that like button and also if you wanna see more content like this and you wanna get reminders of brand new videos, make sure you hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell next to it and you'll be notified of up and coming video releases. See you on the next one, bye for now.